show has been made possible by Ultra Partners and with the support of the Casino Extreme Affiliates. Hello there, iGaming people. Welcome to APCW Perspectives, where we have about a week before Brexit and less than two weeks before ICE and the IGB affiliate events in London. So it's only fitting that we begin in the United Kingdom again, because after all, that's where our industry seems to be focused on these days. A place where increased scrutiny and pressure are leading to big changes. And now comes word that the National Health Service of England has gone as far as to directly contact the country's major bookmakers demanding that they become more proactive in regard to problem gambling. This just a week removed from the announcement of a full ban on credit card use in gambling transactions. NHS England's National Mental Health Director, Claire Murdoch, says the vicious cycle of gambling must be stopped, citing what she calls schemes in the form of bet to view and VIP programs. And on the heels of Ms. Murdoch's request comes news that the UK Gambling Commission has put forth what they are calling three challenges for our industry. Number one, safer advertising practices, especially online. Two, safer products or responsible game design. And three, safer incentives or better VIP programs. And while all of these things are positive steps, what does an actual gambling addict have to say? Well, an interesting article that I just read about a 64-year-old Australian woman who went to prison in 2016 after she stole over $400,000 from her employer to feed her habit. This caught my attention. And while she may have had some of the same issues that make some people more susceptible to addiction than others, one thing in particular she said really jumped out at me. And that is that while she was in prison, her counselor told her that slot machines are as addictive as drugs and alcohol. Now, uh, let that sink in for a moment and think about it. Slot machines are as addictive as drugs and alcohol. And yet, millions of people every day take their medications without getting addicted. Millions more drink alcohol responsibly every day without getting addicted. And dare I say, millions play slot machines every day without it becoming a problem. So, is this a situation where the masses get punished for the problems of a few? Or are we overreacting? I don't know, I'm not gonna answer this. I'm just gonna put it out there and let you guys think about it. Before covering the stories in the second half of our program, can you guess what I'm going to do? Can you guess? Go ahead, go ahead, guess. Well, if you said I'm going to introduce another new APCW partner, you're correct. It's the game revenue program that comes with no admin fee, no negative carryover, and up to 60% rev share. 
They have one sports and three casino brands. And if you want to learn more about them, you can simply visit their review at apcw.org, which I have conveniently linked to in the description of this video. Also this week, some interesting news out of Germany where all 16 states have agreed to a new treaty that will remove the prohibition for online gambling there. You know, uh, there's a lot of details to this that, that they just didn't provide right now, but we do know that a brand new regulatory authority will be established to issue licenses and of course, pass out fines. And finally, a thread in the GPWA forums that you might want to check out if you're a webmaster. It's all about how Google plans to eliminate third-party cookies in Chrome within the next two years. Obviously, this is something that will catch the attention of the affiliate community. Comments in the thread range from actual optimism to complete dread about how this will eventually play out. Much too much for me to get into here, but again, I've linked to it in the description below this video. So you can check that out when the show is over, which is, uh, wait for it, wait for it, right about now. <laughs> so, God willing, if I make it through another week, I'll see you here next time. Which way to go? Which way to, ah, uh, this way. About three weeks ago, there was a cougar killed right here. So I'm guessing I'm safe. <laughs>